Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to unbox the new Paint with Emma box from Craft and All, the July box. And then I'm going to be swatching the colors as well. And it was, I put the photo up in the beginning, I think, of how it's still packaged crazily. But the new thing is they've also got a sticker on now telling everybody that it's fragile and don't fall under pressure so you know you've been warned but yeah let's open this thing and see what's inside this time and before i swatch the colors i will check they've got the right ones actually not like last time so here's the project that we'll be painting Ooh, our free gift this time are fine liners, fade proof, water resistant, and are they all oh, 01, 03, and 05 thickness nibs? That's useful if you like Inktober and stuff, or if you like to line and wash occasionally. That's definitely going to be useful. Then our brushes are number six angle brush and a number two dagger. And it looks like the protective tubes are on correctly this time. So there's that. There's tracing paper. There's the line art. If you don't want to draw it yourself. And my paper is down here as well. Yep, everything's there. And here are the paints. So. Let's see what we have. It's aqua green, green gold, oh, I think it's actually a real green gold as well, cadmium red hue and cadmium pale yellow. It's probably also, not probably, it's definitely also a hue, there are no real cadmiums in this. And I will check the pigment information and have it written down on the swatching sheet in a second when, you when I come back. So I will take the labels off, put them in my palette, check that I've got the right colors this time, and then I'll come back and swatch them out for you. So we'll do that in a second. So here we are. I have unwrapped them, apart from this one, because this one is really sticky. Hang on, I'll take it out and show you. This is like really gooey and sticky and um, not gonna take the wrapper off just yet. I'm gonna try and rescue that. And I've put some water on the other ones, but not on this one. I don't think this is gonna need it. This is like, I don't know what's gone wrong there. It is warm and fairly humid at the moment, but it's not that bad all in, uh, in fairness. So, and they are the right colors. I've checked that. And by the way, and I think you can see that already, Emma has said that these aren't really waterproof. They are somewhat water resistant. And you can see from there that it's bleeding quite a bit. So you can't use it for line and wash with getting your lines in first. If you want to use it as line and wash, then you have to paint the lines over later. So it's not as good as I thought, but oh well. So here's the cadmium red U, which is a mixture of PR, what was it? PR149 and PR255. I have no idea off the top of my head what these pigments are. But it looks like a cadmium red U, all right. So then next is my sticky cadmium, cadmium yellow pale U. Oh, that's a mouthful, isn't it? Can you hear the ice cream van in the background jingling? I'm not sure if my mic is actually going to pick this up, but let's stop now anyway. So yeah, let's see how this is. 
that are very, very sticky. can see that really reactivates quite a bit and it had time to sit there and dry for a few minutes so I guess you can still use it as fine liner pens not in use not to use with watercolors I guess if I want to do line and wash I've got plenty of um, microns and Faber Castell ones and Stedler ones and whatever else so quite a few so it's gonna be fine I guess so the next is the green gold. I hope this is going to be a nice green gold. It is PY129. Oh, I didn't tell you. This is PY175 and PY65. I always keep meaning to look all up all of these pigments that I don't know what they are off the top of my head. I mean, this is just your typical green gold pigment, as is always, or it should always be PY129. I guess some, some brands have like a mixture where they mix it with, I don't know, nickel azo yellow, maybe? did say when I did my updated paints for the uh, June box that I would paint the oranges again but I haven't quite gotten around to that yet because it's also watercolor month at the moment and I've stupidly decided I'm going to do self-portraits every day which was yeah I don't know I don't know why I'm always trying to make a life harder for myself it's I'm regretting it kind of but there we go I've painted a few that I actually quite like, but still, don't know why I'm doing it to myself. So I haven't painted the oranges again yet. I do want to paint them again with the right colors though, because I actually quite like that painting anyway. Yeah, this is actually quite nice, even though it's just white with um, PG7 phthalo green but yeah so here are our colors they're all nice enough and oh, I forgot to swatch them out here I was gonna do that okay I'll do that later I will do it but just not on camera yeah, that's just this is the swatch card for my for my palette so I know what's what and these are gonna be out of order obviously because these are the ones that should be there for the June box and here's the July box which should be there and I don't know these are going to be coming soon I guess yes but I think nice enough nice enough colors and nice palette and let me see yeah it's going to be it's going to be interesting to paint that so definitely don't do what I did and use the pigment liners to write down the names. Use something that's, that you know is waterproof. I just wanted to, to see how bad it really is. And now I know. And now I've shown you so you don't have to try it. I make the mistake so you don't have to. And I will by the time the August box comes around. It's it's the 7th of the Ju in July today, so my box arrived five days earlier than I expected it. So I thought I had some more time and I was actually planning to paint the oranges again this weekend. So that's why that didn't happen. So maybe I'll try to paint the oranges and the hibiscus this weekend. We'll see. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please give the video a like because it helps my channel. And please consider subscribing if you enjoy watching people swatch. I have I have swatched my birthday haul watercolors and I did actually plan to put up the 
come on the michael harding ones tonight but because the box has arrived the box is going to go out tonight and the michael harding ones will come on wednesday i guess so if you want to watch me swatch watercolors please subscribe to my channel consider subscribing to my channel and thank you very much for watching see you in the next one bye now bye bye